This is my dear friend, Paul Shields. He is a multi-talented man. Not only has he done a lot of uh, computer science work, and not only is he a stenographer, but he's also quite a proficient visual artist. So I'm at his gallery showing, and I'm going to ask him some questions today. So first of all, Mr. Shields, your work is rather abstract. Do you ever see anything concrete in your images? Well, I would say the inspiration for the pieces you see here tonight is things like faces on Mars and animals in clouds. It is a psychological effect known as pareidolia, and it is part of every one of us. Our brain works this way. So when you see images that are abstract like this, Typically what you see are either maps or animals or faces and the brain does this and I love the, the process of people being drawn into the to the artwork to, to have a look. It just tickles me. Excellent. Now do you ever get the visual artist version of writer's block? All too often. Um, these pieces, uh, the only way I could really do them is by draw making the drawings really close up so I didn't see the big picture until I was essentially done and, and took a look farther back. What do you do when you're in front of your canvas with your media implements and you're not quite sure how to start? I would have to say I meditate. I visualize, I remember what's going on in the day, I, uh, I think of images, and then I start. Do, I know, I know you're a stenographer, do you ever integrate stenography into your visual works? Well, that's, um, that I would have to uh, say is something I will not disclose at this time. Perfectly, Perfectly fine, that's so. And finally, have you been doing visual art your whole life, like from a very early age, or did you start as an adult? During high school, teachers encouraged me to do more artwork, but I so actually sold my first piece last year. And so I really haven't really expressed myself as an artist until uh, that happened. Excellent. Well, it's nice talking to you, Mr. Shields. And this is going on many areas of the internet, including YouTube. Thank you very much for your patience and your time.